memory plays an important role in our life if we cannot remember something or our memory doesn't serve us right then our life can be very very problematic if we don't remember our name if we don't remember who our parents are if we don't remember who our friends are if we don't remember what we had studied uh, yesterday night for the test tomorrow then life is going to be very very difficult we will not remember who we are so memory is is a, is an asset is a tool that we always have with us and it will always help us in leading our lives at a normal uh, pace but what happens if we lose our memory sometimes if we actually forget something very very important and then we begin to doubt ourselves that is something happening to me no why am i not being able to remember this if this incident happened then i must know something about it there must be some memory of it but unfortunately if you don't remember something and there are about five people telling you the same thing that you did something that you don't remember then it becomes a very very tough situation for you that how come something happened to me with me where i was present and i don't have any memory any recollection of it whatsoever but other people have a very clear cut idea that yes this happened and you were there and you don't remember it now then you will begin to doubt yourself that how oh, what is what is happening to you are you getting old are you getting some mental problem we are not being able to remember what happened to you or what is it you will have serious doubts on yourself so here we have uh, bipin choudhury bipin choudhury is uh, a normal uh, human being who goes to work who does who is not very social who doesn't like you know uh, social activity with people he doesn't like mingling with people too much he is not a very social kind of a man so he buries himself he he tries to uh you know pass his time throughout the day just watch just reading books so in a week he reads about 4 to 5 books in an uh, in a day, in a day that means he's reading at least one and one 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 and a half books right so this is a person who is very well read who just uh, likes to read is not very social and he was once caught in such a situation where uh, he thinks that something has happened to him where other people are also telling him that this happened but he doesn't remember a single thing about him going to a certain place that is rachi but there are people there are people with evidences there are people with information with specific information that he did go to rachi so what happened finally did he actually go to ranchi or something else so here we will read this in the chapter there is a suspense and the suspense is taken till the end of the chapter as to what the reality is so we'll read what was bipin chand's lapse of memory lapse of memory just means that there is a temporary break where you don't recall something so that is a lapse so lapse just means a temporary malfunction temporary stop that is a lapse or something that is not good right that is a lapse so it's a lapse in memory of vipin choudhury so we have four parts so this is the first part it says every monday on his way back from work vipin choudhury would drop in at kali charans in new market to buy books so before i tell you anything else let me tell you that this story is written by your very own satyajit ray the most famous filmmaker writer uh, uh, from kolkata for india the only person uh, from india to ever win an academy award academy award is an oscar for lifetime achievement so he is the only person from india who has ever won that he has won that for obvious, obviously his uh films uh, he has uh, made about 36 odd films and 
he was a very good filmmaker an exceptional film filmmaker and he used to also write short stories for children he liked uh, writing short stories so this is one of uh, his most famous uh, short stories uh, about bipin choudhary and his lapse of memory so the setting of his short stories will obviously be the place where he is where he is from that is kolkata so here we have uh, bipin choudhary who used to go to kali charan's kali charan's is a shop in new market new market is a very famous book market in kolkata so crime stories ghost stories and thrillers he had to buy at least 5 at a time to last him through the week so imagine he used to buy five books every single week so that he can uh, pass his time he lived alone and he was not a good mixer not a good mixer just means that he was not very social he did not like being around people and had had a few friends and didn't like spending time in idle chat and he didn't like spending time just talking and chit chatting to people today at kali charan's bipin babu had the feeling that somebody was observing him from close quarters that somebody was observing him very very closely so, uh, from from afar he turned round and found himself looking at a round face meek looking man who now broke into a smile so as he turned around he saw that there is one person with a round face he is a very uh, shy quiet nice kind of a person and now he broke into a smile that means he instantly smiled at him as soon as he turned back i don't recognize i don't suppose you recognize me so now that person is asking bipin i don't suppose uh, you recognize me that i think maybe you don't recognize me like okay bipin chaudhary is confused like have you met before the man looked greatly surprised like we met every day for a whole week i arranged for a car to take you to hudru falls so now bipin chaudhary this is bipin chaudhary he is uh, as you can see a bit old and uh, he is at a bookshop and this man has come in and he is saying that uh, uh, i don't think you remember me so this person bipin chaudhary like have you met before so he is very very shocked that of course we met every single day i even arranged for a car to take you to hudru falls in 1958 in rachi my name is parimal ghosh so this person says of course we met we met uh, in 1958 in rachi and now mr bipin choudhary like rachi now bipin choudhary realized that it was not he but this man who was making a mistake so bipin choudhary is now okay oh okay okay that i am not surprised i am i don't have to worry because definitely this person is making a mistake that uh, you know he met me in rachi because he knew that i have never been to rachi bipin choudhary had never been to rachi he had been at the point of going several times but never made it so he had already planned he had planned a lot of times to go to rachi but he could never actually go go there so he knew that he has never been to rachi and this person is clearly mistaken he is thinking of someone else and now he has mistakenly come to me he smiled and said uh, do you know who i am the man raised his eyebrows bit his tongue and said do i know you so now man raised his eyebrows and bit his tongue just means you know that he is uh, trying to control his his smile his laughter so now he's like do i know you so he's repeating his question in a funny way who doesn't know bipin choudhary bipin babu now turned towards the bookshelf and said still you're making a mistake one often does i've never been to rachi the man now laughed aloud so he is actually laughing out loud what are you saying mr choudhary you had a fall in hudru and cut your right knee i bought you iodine iodine is just a a, a medicine where you put it on uh, open wounds if you cut something so you put betadine right betadine is uh, uh, a combination of iodine uh, with something else so iodine is a uh, medicine so he is, is telling him something some incident that happened i had fixed up a car for you to go to neetarhat the next day but you couldn't because of the pain in the knee can't you recall anything someone else you know was also in rachi at that time mr dinesh mukherji you stayed in a bungalow you said you didn't like a hotel food and would prefer to have your meals cooked by a bavarchi mr mukherji stayed with his sister you had a big argument about the moon landing remember so this person 
is clearly bringing evidence he is saying things that and he is bringing particular people and he is saying such particular s- simple incidents that of course this happened you know uh, when you were in rachi you cut your knee i bought you iodine you stayed in this hotel and there was another person mr dinesh mukherjee who was also present in the in in rachi during the stay when you were staying there you also had a big argument with him regarding the moon landing so the argument about moon landing is uh, that there are some people who believe that uh, human beings have never landed on moon okay so they say that it is all a, a hoax it is all a conspiracy that americans have uh, you know uh, landed on moon so some people will call it uh, fake but other people agree that it did happen so this uh, is a bit uh, this is a you know food for argument for a lot of people at night or maybe at any time if they think others other things like you know that in uh, human beings never landed on moon so they might have an argument about this so mr bipin choudhary also had an argument with dinesh mukherjee about moon landing remember i'll tell you more you always carried a bag with your books in it on your sides to sight seeing trips am i right or not so now this person has told him a lot of information and uh, of course bipin choudhary knows that uh, of course i mean he has never been to ranchi he has zero memory of being to ranchi ever so but when this man is actually giving him such such uh, specific information that he had a cut and that he always carries books so maybe some some doubt will come into bipin choudhary's mind because he has never seen this person and a, a random stranger cannot come to you and give you such specific information about you so bipin choudhary spoke quietly his eyes still on the books which month in 58 are you talking about the man said october no sir bipin babu said said bipin babu i spent puja in 58 with a friend in kanpur you're making a mistake good day so now he is very very sure that oh ho oh, oh, ho 58 okay in october i am very sure that i spent the puja that is the, in the month of october with a friend in kanpur and there was no chance that he has been to ranchi during that time the the but the man didn't go nor did he stop talking but the man was not convinced that no 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 you did so like very strange one evening i had tea with you in a veranda of your bungalow you spoke about your family you said you had no children and that you had lost your wife 10 years ago your only brother had died insane which is why you didn't want to visit the mental hospital in ranchi so maybe some people when they go to ranchi they try to visit the mental hospital they see what it is like but this man is giving him more evidence and this time some personal evidence very very personal evidence which not normal people would know uh, like a stranger if he tells you exactly Uh, you know particular things which only you or very close people to you will know so then obviously you will listen to them so here this person the stranger who had come to him parimal ghosh is also telling him something very very personal that you know one day we had a talk uh, in the veranda of your bungalow and you told me that you had no children that you, that you had lost your wife that your brother had died insane and which is why you were scared of ever going to the mental hospital when bipin babu had paid for the books and was leaving the shop the man was still looking at him in utter disbelief so the man was in such utter disbelief that how can this person ever forget coming to ranchi how is this even possible now we come to part 